What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today we are taking on the super physical, super battle road, and we're going to, of course, be bringing our extreme strength team and showing off this guy right here. I feel like showing guys off in boss rush is like, it's still a thing, but I like showing them off in super battle road, because, you know, that's the end goal, right? We can all beat super battle road for the most part. I've got a, I'm pretty sure when this Ginyu team fully is out, that's going to be able to take on super battle road, or, uh... The boss rush stage five, no problem, which is all in game. It is all in game and everyone can get it, no problem. So uh, that would probably be able to take that down. So Super Battle Road though, that is the end game, right? That is the end game that we are all striving towards. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna take this guy in Super Battle Road and let's see what he can do, okay? If you don't know what he does, he's mainly a support unit, okay? So when he super attacks, he increases the attack for one turn by 20% for the rest of his allies. And he also gives all extreme types key plus two, attack up 20%. And he allows you to see when the enemy is super attacking. And as you can clearly see, you can see it right now. So if you take a look at Hercule, see how it's blinking like that around the little gray and turning red and everything. That means he's going to super attack him. And it also means that if I put uh, Janimba back here, it looks like Boo is going to super attack and attack a bunch. So unfortunately, Jace is going to get hit a couple of times. So I'm actually going to put Jace there. Again, he is not here to usually be on rotation, but because of the way it's going, we're gonna we're gonna put it, we're gonna see it this way. Plus, I need to get Janimba off rotation actually because I want Rose to get over here, but Rose is on the other rotation, so there's gonna be it's gonna be some rotation mix-ups here. So anyway, let's start just start going through and let's try to take down Boo as best we can. That should give a six for there. The two key is really nice because it does help uh, Brawly out here, which is pretty good. I want to see how much he takes against Boo though. I want to see how much he's gonna take hit for. So, uh, I guess we'll give you that. That should be fine. Alright, let's see what he can take. 54, as you can clearly see. He's not Ginyu. He's not Ginyu. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about and you haven't seen my Ginyu video, go and check that out right now, because, whoo, Ginyu is actually useful for this. <laughs> I hope, though, I really do hope that more units in the future will have this ability, uh, where you can actually see it, because, let's face it, no one's going to take the Scouter item, until they either A, open up the next item slot, or, um, it's given there. And yeah, we're basically, oh, we got the dodge though, right? Oh, we got another dodge. There we go. We barely survived that one. I would have died that turn. So we are actually going to be putting Rose down here. And obviously we're going to heal up. So, uh, we'll heal up with the attack though. That's fine. Not trying to beat any records again either on this because I found the friend and I was trying to get some stuff done. By the time you guys are watching this, I'm actually going to be in Singapore, um, just trying to look up some, look up for some like backup jobs and stuff like that because my contract's up next year for my main job that I do. So hopefully that can all go well. Still trying to stay in Japan. Still trying to stay in Japan, but you know we'll have to see where, where things go. Looking at different places: Germany, Switzerland, Singapore, different places. So, all right, come on, let's take this guy down. Oh wow, mine coming down with the additional. <laughs> I got that second dupe of him in that uh in that stream that I went for that Gogeta dupe, so that was pretty nice. And not taking much damage since you have both Rose and Omega lowering the attack. Oh man, these guys coming down through the additionals. I wonder, do these two link it? Oh wow, they don't link at all. And we're getting a super attack out of you. So I'm actually gonna keep you on rotation, Jace, just because. Uh, I want to see um, you in the next couple turns. So, because when, because basically what's going to be, it's going to be Rose uh, with Brawly, and then Jace will be there to let us know of the super attack. And we took down Videl before she can super attack. That is right. That is, damn, this info is really helpful, actually. I'm not going to lie. Again, either open up that next, those next couple item slots there, Doken, or have more characters like Jace, have a support you. I mean, if hit, if the, if the strength hit had this ability too, I would have gone like full whale status on that, getting that hit for this team. I seriously would have. In fact, I think all future support units need to have this ability. That'd be really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, actually, you're, right, you're exactly the same, so. Uh, I guess we'll do this though. We'll do that. Bring that down. And we'll go like that. We wanna take down the Great Sandman first. Let's see if we can. 23k, not too bad. Alrighty. The only one I don't think is really going to fit well, unfortunately, is probably Raccoon on a physical team. And the only reason I say that is because physical has a lot of hard hitters already. Physical needs more people to either, like, lower attack and things like that. So, I mean, he, the nice thing about him, he does get an 80%, it's either 70 or 80% in the defense. 
uh, automatically. And then the more he's attacked, he increases his attack and everything. But I, I don't know. I'll have to test him out later on. I'm not really sure how it's going to go. So we'll have to see. Okay, so where are you super in attack? In the beginning, of course. Well, I have no choice but to take that super attack. So I guess we'll heal up this way and increase that right there. So that should be fine. Jace, unfortunately, not really linking with many people. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of that's gonna, that was gonna be the downside of him no matter what. So let's see. How, I want to see how much damage he's gonna do though. He'll probably do some good damage. Yep, there's that super attack. It's like you fight. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. Broly, and Broly didn't get his super attack or his attack off yet, so he didn't get that 80% in the defense yet. But now he does. He's gonna take double digits probably. Triple. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty nice right there. All right, Rose, can we take down Gohan or? A great Sam man. Oh, all right, let's see what Jace does. Let's see what he does. Yeah, basically, I mean, it's basically what you expected, right? <laughs> so, all right, perfect. Um, I guess two there. Kind of overkill, but it's okay. And we'll give that all to Freezer right there. All right, we'll be able to take down the great Sam man, no problem. Alrighty. Come on. Let's see what we got here. I'm trying to think who else would also be good on the Super Battle Road things. Because the next one, Extreme Tech. Actually, the more I think about it, I think the. Uh, who is it? Who is Extreme Tech? It's not Barter. It's Budo. I don't think he's going to be very good because in order for him to lower the enemy's attack and defense for 20% by, for two turns, you have to get the attack off first. And generally, yes, you put him in the last slot. But as you guys know with Super Battle Royale, there are times where they will literally all attack at the end. And that guy can probably not take a hit to save his life. So, I don't know. That will definitely be some interesting to see what happens there. Um, let's do that. Give you that. And we'll give you that, I guess. That's fine. Alright. So, Great Saiyan Man 2 will be done. We're going to go on to the third round. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Probably should have turned off Do Not Disturb. Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright. All right, I will be right back. I'm gonna tell my friend to stop messaging me for a second. All right, we're back. Let's continue on. Let's go on to Vegeta. Oh, hey, Jace is around this turn. Sweet. All right, now as long again, they're not attacking all at the end. We should be fine. Perfect. All right, I'll take this. Now, where are they all super attacking? Oh my gosh, no one's super attacking. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, we'll heal up with an Android 8 here. And we'll do this, I guess. That's actually really funny. We'll give him that. So we're going to take down Vegeta first because Vegeta's obviously take, attacking a lot more. Come on, Omega. Take him down. Uh, obviously, in my personal opinion, just based on what I can do and everything, uh, Jace would still be replaced with Hit. It's nice to know where the super attacks are coming from, but I have a feeling if he, if he was Tech, that would be amazing. Or if he was probably Physical, that would be even more amazing. I, if, he was just one, if he was one of those two types. Strength... Once you, I mean, I, I cover this in my extreme team build for Super Battle Road when it finally came to global and everything. If you basically run this team but switch Jace with, well, pretty much anyone. I mean, you can have Jace. He's not bad. He's a, he's a good su sub six unit. But if you would hit, you can run through this event in under ten minutes. I kid you not on it. You honestly can. So, um, we're gonna give you that. We'll give you that, and I guess we'll give all those to Frieza. Oh, we're off by one on the uh, level two there. Okay. In the super attack. That's fine. We're totally fine on that, though. Not doing much damage to us. Some damage in there. 57 damage. Get out of here. <laughs> I'll take that. All right, Rose. Probably will finish up Vegeta. We'll probably finish him up. Not too shabby. I thought we would actually finish off with uh, Vegeta, but I guess not. Frieza, can you get an additional? Nope, okay. Frieza is rainbowed, which is really nice. And you can use the Survive a Super Attack. I think we'll be fine. Do that, and... Can we heal up? Yeah, why not? Why don't we heal up? Yes, it'd be on the safe side. More for that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm trying to think. The next one I definitely want to try out, though, is Barter. Um, 
I think he could be good, but the problem is with him is he's he's got to be in that first slot to be effective, if I remember correctly, on his passive and everything. Can we dodge? Yeah, there we go. You're not dodging there. Oh, they had my him but dodging like, ugh, man, he's dodging everything. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Now we got Janiba to take this guy down, and we're going to the last battle, so. Yeah, honestly, out of all the Ginyu members, though, Ginyu's good. Ginyu is actually really good on Extreme Int. Jace is okay. He's a good six, he's a good six spot if you have to. Um, but other than that, um, I don't really know about the rest of the Ginyu. Raccoon will be something in, someone will be, will be interesting to test out, I would say. Um, I don't see Gludo being good on Extreme Tech. I just, I just don't. He's definitely not going to be super because He's not going to link well. And if you get hit the last spot, I mean, you already have Brawly being the glass cannon right there, so we don't need another one. And then... Barter, I guess we'll, we'll need to test them out. We'll have to test them out. Unfortunately, we can't get them till Monday, so. All right, here we go. Oh, we're going to get into Doken mode next turn, right on. Or either this turn or next turn. I guess it depends on how the orbs stack up. I am curious who actually has more attack, though. Mega or Janimba? Janimba, but not by much. Janimba, but not by much. Use a bit there. We'll activate a lease. This would be the one part where I'm like, okay, actually knowing where the super attack is going to be would be really nice. So I'll admit that. I'll definitely admit that. Let's just get the super attack. Let's just get it done over with. Okay, like, I, well, it's probably a good thing I put him there because he'll tank that, especially with the Whis. All right, let's see what we can do. We're not going to finish him off, obviously, but let's see what we can do. All right, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku. Bam, there we go. I like it. By the way, guys, real quickly, by the time you're seeing this video, it's probably Tuesday? Maybe Wednesday, I'm not really sure uh, when I'm going to be uploading this. But uh, if there, if, if during this week there was one day that I did miss an upload, it's simply because of, again, my trip in Singapore and everything. So, again, I'm trying to make all these videos on Sunday before I leave. Um, I just, hopefully I can get it all uploaded. 2,000 for Omega. Man, Rainbow Omega is awesome. You can definitely take a hit on like a physical version. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Boom. There we go. Oh, freeze with the ad additional. Are we gonna take down Goku? Take down Goku. Nope. Okay, we're close to take. Ah, uh, Goku's gonna get the Kamehameha off on Frieza. Oh. Uh, but we'll heal back up because of the Doken mode. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do this because we can. And this is basically going to end it. So, overall, uh, again, Jace, pretty good unit. Pretty good unit. He, uh, his passive, obviously, right? That's the thing that you want to use to help, you know, to really show where they're going. It's nice that he raises the attack. He supports your team as well. He has that plus two key. So, again, he's a good sub subunit. He's not optimal, but, again, I don't think he, anyone really expected him to be. But he is a good subunit. Um, oh, Gohan, you're going to get the super attack off of me, aren't you? Get out of here. Probably can take that. All right, hopefully this will take down Gohan. All right, Janimba will take down Gohan, and then Gotan will take down uh, next. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting the dodge on the Gotan. There we go. All righty. Oh, see, yep, getting that super attack in there. So we're going to put Janimba there. You there. Just really nice. And boom. And yeah, we're good to go. I mean, Omega's gonna finish this up, no problem. So, that is really helpful information, actually. I'm not gonna lie. So, anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, as always. Who is your favorite Ginyu member to run on their uh, extreme teams? Not together, obviously, but what what is your preferred Ginyu? Uh, my personally, so far, definitely just out of the ones I've been able to test so far, especially on Super Battle Road, uh, is gonna be Ginyu is number one, and then Jace is number two. The other three, I'm going to have to test out and everything. So it'll be interesting to see. So anyway, leave your comments down below. As always, also leave a poll in the top right corner. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. Don't forget to hit that bell as well when it comes to uh, making sure that you see all the new videos that are coming out because YouTube's been a little crazy with all its new stuff that it's implementing and changing now how things are searched for and all that kind of stuff. So I personally don't like it. I know some might, but overall, I don't. So yeah. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for stopping by. And until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.